Football is a very demanding sport. It's not enough to make it to the top. You have to keep delivering amazing performances to remain there. If not, you'll fall off. Some players have reached the top and fallen off, while some are at that point right now, where if they don't step up, they will fall into irrelevance. Here are 10 players who need to step up next season to stay relevant. And we'll start with Jadon Sancho. The lad has failed to hit the heights we expected him to reach when he signed for Man United in 2021. A month after he moved to Old Trafford, he went on Twitter and said it was about to be scary hours. Well, to be fair, in these two years, it has indeed been scary, but just for him. If Jaden doesn't step up his game next season, he might just become permanently irrelevant. It feels like the 2023-24 season is his last chance. His teammate, Anthony, also needs to step up his game. The Brazilian winger has looked nothing close to a 100 million euro player since his move from Ajax in 2022, and you get the feeling that he has just one more season to prove himself or he'd be out. 100 million euros is a lot of money to spend on a player, and if you do, you'd hope that the player balls his heart out. Anthony has to do that, or United might be forced to sell him, and that just might be the beginning of the end for his relevance. Another 100 million euro player who needs to step up his game next season is Mikhailo Mudrik. The lad moved to Chelsea in January, but he didn't hit the ground running as many expected him to. It's easy to be a little more patient with him because he joined midway into the season, so he didn't have any pre-season with the club. But if he doesn't step up next season, that could be it for him. The way Todd Bowley has been clearing out the Chelsea squad should send a clear message to the current players. If you don't live up to expectation, you'd be shown the door and a replacement would be signed immediately and given an eight-year contract. Meanwhile, on the other side of London, it's Richarlison who desperately needs to up his game. This guy was signed for £60 million, but he scored just one Premier League goal all season. And the goal just had to be a dramatically irrelevant one. Yes, that one against Liverpool. Anyway, that was definitely not what Spurs bought him for, so he better step up his game. Also, there's a new coach now, so he has to impress. If not, the boss might just totally give up on him. By the way, the pressure on Richarlison would further increase if Harry Kane really does leave the club this summer. It means the Brazilian would have to lead the attack, and so, if he doesn't step up his game and at least attempt to fill Kane's shoes, he would be easily exposed. Another striker who needs to step up his game is Darwin Nunez. He is another 100 million euro player who was massively underwhelming in his first season in the Premier League. Do you guys remember that this guy was compared to Erling Haaland at the beginning of the season? One of the most disrespectful comparisons in football in recent times, to be very honest. If you want to see some even crazier and even more disrespectful comparisons, go check out this video. Anyway, Nunez really failed to live up to expectations. You don't buy a 23-year-old striker for 100 million euros only for your 31-year-old almost finished striker to finish with more Premier League goals and assists in the season. If Darwin Nunez doesn't step up this season, Gakpo could just replace him permanently up front, and with Luis Diaz on the left, he might not be able to move that way either. The 2023-24 season is really his last chance, and you get the feeling that it's also the last chance for Sadio Mane. When Mane moved from Liverpool to Bayern Munich in 2022, we all thought it was a perfect match, but it has been so far from that. Mane has been so unimpressive in Germany, and at the age of 31, you get the feeling that if he doesn't step up in the new season, that might just be the beginning of his ride into oblivion. And you could say the same thing for Virgil van Dijk too. The guy has been great since he joined Liverpool, but it seems like last season, he experienced a huge drop in form. We still expect him to be one of the first names on the list next season, but if he doesn't step up, Klopp might have to start looking for younger replacements for him. He's 32, and at that age, to still remain relevant at a big club, you have to be at the top of your game. If not, the club would have to start considering investing in younger talents to replace you. Speaking of young talents, Dio Upamecano is one young player who needs to really step up. The 24-year-old centre-back made quite a number of howlers last season, which cost his team so much, so he'd probably be on Fradu watch next season. 
Also, Bayern have Matty De Ligt and have now signed Kim Min Jai from Napoli. So, Upamecano has huge competition in his position at the club. If he fails to step up, he might be out. Emil Smith Rowe, too. With the way Arteta has been doing business in this window, nobody is safe, especially not Emil Smith Rowe. His injury did him no good at all last season, and he's fallen down the pecking order because of that. He is good as an attacking midfielder, left winger and supporting striker. And all of those positions are currently occupied at Arsenal. And in fact, with Trossard and Havertz having been signed, coupled with the emergence of Reese Nelson, Smith Rowe has been pushed even further down the pecking order. With the number 10 at his back, Smith Rowe has to step up massively next season to remain at Arsenal. If not, he'd be out and would most likely not be moving to another big club. That's if he even survives this window. Anyway, we'll now wrap up this list with Ansu Fati. That lad's Barcelona career seems like it's on its last legs right now. Fans were screaming for him to be sold all season and we're not even certain that he'll survive the window. But if he does, then he surely has to know that the 2023-24 season is his last chance. If he doesn't step up, that could be it for him. I mean, this guy was linked to a move to Wolves this summer. His options are not looking very exciting, to be very honest. If Barcelona decide that they're done with him, that could spell the end of his relevance as a top footballer. He can go ask Bojan, Delafeu, Sandro, Ramirez, Munir and a host of other La Masia graduates who Barcelona gave up on if he thinks we're making this up. And his situation is probably made worse by Barcelona's current financial predicament. The club needs money, so they're less patient than they normally would be with players who aren't performing at the level required of them. Anyway, what other players would you say need to step up next season to stay relevant? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!